I'm seeing in you, in our customer base, over the last couple of years, an emerging trend of using open source design processes to build your products. Um, I've, seen, I've seen open source type processes applied to consumer products. And believe it or not, we're going to share with you this morning the story of the first open source designed car. There's actually a car that's been built using open source design techniques. Let's take a look at Local Motors Corporation. Even if you were the richest, smartest, most talented person in the world, it would still be really hard for you to make a new original car. Now you can. Join the Local Motors co-creative team to help create, develop, build, and mod brand new cars. Here's how it works. First, join the community. Everyone is invited. Next, create new cars or help develop ongoing concepts. If you're a hot designer, create new cars by participating in a competition or submit a design to check up for review. If you love cars, vote to decide what will be developed. All designs are protected with a Creative Commons license to promote collaboration but protect your design ownership. The concepts with the most votes are developed in co-creation. Co-creation is working with your peers and the Local Motors team to help choose things like the body and interior details and components like engines and shocks. You help develop the car and ensure it turns out the way you want. Once a car is fully developed, you can buy it and build it. Local Motors opens a micro factory in your region to build the cars you want to build. For example, Local Motors opened a micro factory in Phoenix to build the Rally Fighter. There are many more micro factories to come and more cars to build. So far, the LM Extreme is the most popular in the Carolinas, the Green Apple is favored in Manhattan, and the Boston Bullet in Boston. Micro factories mean local jobs and the most convenient service. The micro factory model is also sustainable. Since cars are built one at a time, there is less waste. Plus, local motors businesses allow the use of locally available fuel sources and more rapid adjustment to changing technology. Not only can you be proud of building your own car, you can be proud of buying local. Your car is special because you make it. You can even design or choose a custom car skin for the body. Every car is numbered. Only 2,000 of each design will ever be made. It only takes two three-day weekends to build your car in a Local Motors micro factory. Local Motors provides you all the help you need, but you are the lead builder. You can even bring someone to enjoy the experience with you. At the end of the second weekend, you drive your car home. With new understanding of how your car works, you are a better, safer driver. So when you complete the build of your own car, you join the ranks of the most responsible car owners in America. Once the car is home, you can mod it. All chassis and body data is available. Modders, fabbers, and manufacturers, click the download button to retrieve all the data you need to build anything for the Rally Fighter. You can even sell what you build through the Local Motors website. Local Motors is not only co-creative, it's open source. It's that easy. You can make a new original car. Just join the Local Motors community to help create, develop, build, and mod your car the way you want. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so now let's give a big SolidWorks welcome to the M Local Motors head builder, trainer, and vehicle R&D engineer, Mike Pisani. Hey, John. Hey, Mike. Thanks. Well, thanks so much for making the trip to join us. I sure. love, the, love the local motors uniform there that you're thanks. wearing. 
Um, you've been, you know, you've been in the car business a long time, personally, right? Even before Local Motors. Right. Yeah, I've always been interested in cars ever since I was a little kid. Like a lot of people on the audience there, I'm sure, and uh, all my other fellow teammates at at Local Motors. But with uh, some hard work and a little bit of luck, I was able to turn my passion into my profession and uh, able to do that. Uh, actually, it's kind of a, a random story that we just put together this morning. Um, I started with SolidWorks, I believe it was a seat of 98, while on co-op at ZCAT, which was, uh, again, Roni's company, and we just put it together this morning. I didn't know he was going to be yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> a funny thing, Roni, Roni, the previous speaker, Roni and Mike met this morning on stage here. And it turns out Mike used to work for Roni when he was a college student. Total coincidence, yeah. you know. And, and just it shows you we're 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 a million people, but you know it's not as big a community sometimes as you think. Right, and, right. And it like was, to it was feel great like to see family. Him. Yeah. And then so then from there on to working with Factory Five Racing after graduation, and then now on to Local Motors at its inception to help develop the Rally Fighter. Uh, so. Uh, how long did it take Local Motors to build the Rally Fighter, the first car? It was about a 15-month period to go from a literally a 2D sketch on a piece of paper to the first uh, working prototype, and then a few months uh, beyond that to develop tooling and things. Uh, so about 18 months overall. You know, we feel like we can hone it down to 12 to 18 months. You know, once we uh, get get things rolling. So they designed this car, the Rally Fighter, built in scratch in, in less than two years. Less than it's two amazing. years, yeah. This is an amazing car, you know, as you can see, it's a beautiful car. Right, which is typically yeah. a process of five to seven years. Five to seven years, yeah. yeah. And everything was open every step of the way, right? Right. right. And how many community members do you have in the online local motors? Uh, right now, to date, we're at about 9,500 registered and active users on, on the site, and that's comprised mostly of transportation designers, engineers, and the most important person in the equation, the enthusiast, the customer. And we promised Local Motors that we would make it really clear that we'd invite every one of you to join the online community at localmotors.com. And I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people in the audience that are going to go back and, and right. join the community. Right. And it's very easy uh, to do. You just log on to the website. You can upload your own designs that you've worked on in the past. Maybe even if it's a sketch you've done on a napkin, load it on there. Uh, get it critiqued if it's an idea maybe you've been wanting to work on, you just haven't had the chance to get it critiqued, load that design on there, and then, of course, contribute to the rest of the designs and, and add your CAD and engineering expertise to existing designs on the site. And so now tell us about the overall process of how you design the car. Okay, so what we do is our core competency is not in developing braking systems, engines, transmissions, so on and so forth. What we do is, what we're good at uh, is taking all of those best of the best components and uh, putting them in a package that we feel people will, will want to buy. And again, when I say we, that's not just us at Local Motors, that's the whole community. So we take things from the SEMA tech transfer, and that's mostly models from GM, Ford, Chrysler. You can put in a request for an engine or a transmission, which you can see in the model we have. Uh, you can also get uh, components from some other of the automotive manufacturers, but mostly those, the big three. Uh, we also design our own components, like the chassis, some of the suspension components, some of the other smaller components. The body and the body tooling is developed in Katia and then brought into SolidWorks as an IGES file. And the wheel, instead of designing my own wheel when I first started the process, because I knew we would eventually purchase a wheel, uh, I, instead of dedicating the time to start from scratch, what I did was I went to the 3D Content Central site, yeah, found a wheel Central. that met our specs. And uh, use that in the model to run my uh, suspension simulations and make sure that the wheels would fit in the wheel well, so on and so forth. And then uh, another method that we use, which I think is pretty cool, is in the event where we can't get the data from a SEMA tech transfer or one of our suppliers, is we'll purchase the part, scan it, and then use that in the model. And if we need to make some modifications to it, we can do that. It's just kind of increases the speed to uh, reverse engineer a component. And Mike, you brought an example of a part that you scanned right. and re-engineered, right? Can we yep. take a look? So what we have here is, this is an, an actual component that you can purchase. This is a, a yoke for a, a drive shaft. And then what we have here is the, the part that, that we ended up with. Um, and, and what we do is we purchase the part again. We will scan it and then make our changes, which you can see it's a little bit shorter. We've uh, increased some of the bosses on the side. This actually also has splines in it. So we can actually take this part and uh, put that on the other end of the drive shaft to make sure that the components fit properly. And what this is, is the uh, scan data that came from RapidForm, then sent to our Z Corp 3D printer.
And so this comes right out of the 3D printer, just like this, with all the splines and everything in right. it. Right. There is some, some infiltration to be done um, with either um, you know, a, a cyanacrylate or an epoxy just to mm -hmm. hold it all together, because again, if you are going to join the parts, but that came from a, a powder printer. Cool. And, and, you know, it's, Mike, like a lot of customers, we're seeing more and more customers using scanning routinely. It used to be a big deal to think about scanning a part, but you're, you, you use a handheld scanner, right? Right, handheld Being scanner the with the IR targets right on it. Um, you just set it up, and, in, you know, in a matter of an hour or two, you can have a, a pretty large assembly like the fuel tank like you see in the model. Uh, the Ford rear end, we also scanned that and, and put that into the model so that we could package around it.